Hey guys, what's up? Okay, so we got some moderate news today about Sonic Frontiers coming to the Summer Game Fest. Now, if you guys don't already know, there's a trailer that came out a couple days ago about like Summer Games Fest, you know, IGN Summer of Games thing, whatever, that's gonna play in IMAX or whatever. You know, I haven't really been following it and stuff because we all know we're not getting E3 next month. So there's gonna be like this big IGN gaming Summer Fest and Sonic Frontiers is gonna be on it. Why not? You know, like that would actually be quite jarring and surprising if Sonic Team and Sega did not advertise Sonic Frontiers. Now since this is June 9th, you know a lot of people, well not a lot, it's just been a couple of people who have come to my previous video that I made about like an insider source telling me about Sonic the Hedgehog 5, Sonic 3 Knuckles Mobile, and Sonic Frontiers event being held June 23rd to tell me, oh this video hasn't aged well, this video hasn't aged well, and I'm like look guys, I even said in the video and in the comments that if there's one thing that I hope is false about this insider leak is that I want Sonic Frontiers to come out earlier in June. So this is good news to me. Like I'm not I'm not like upset like oh I'm wrong like I would rather get Sonic Frontiers news in early June than late June. I still think we're going to get something in late June like we're going to get more Sonic Frontier stuff in late June but Whatever we're going to get Sonic Frontiers in June 9th, I hope it's good. I hope it's substantial. But like some people are using that to rule out everything in that video is fake. Like Sonic 3 Knuckles Mobile, Sonic the Hedgehog 5, Mario and Sonic at the Paris Olympics. And it's like, guys, <laughs> no, that's totally unrelated. You can't use one point to invalidate everything. I still truly believe we're getting Sonic 5 next year and we're getting Sonic 3 Knuckles Mobile. When that ends up happening, people are going to go back to that video and be like, whoa, gamer guy, you were right on that. But like I said, guessing dates for like events of games is always going to be like a 50-50 because Sega can always change their minds. They can always, you know, readjust. It's not like they have to release Sonic Frontiers information on June 23rd. A lot of companies do that actually when they plan something to be on this specific date and then leakers, you know, leak out the information. Then they're like, oh, okay, you guys want to leak that? We're going to change the date. And they either push it back or they push it early. They do that several times. Look at Dragon Ball Super Superhero, the movie. We were supposed to get that movie last month in April. But because some stupid leakers decided to try to leak the plot, I think they leaked out some substantial scenes from that movie. Toy Animation were like, nope, we're postponing this movie. And they haven't even announced when they're going to actually release it. They're like... We'll let you guys know when this movie's ready to come out. And the movie is done. Like, it's not like they're delaying it to uh, work on it more. Maybe they're doing that now. But the main reason why they delayed it is because leakers got a hold of it. And they're like, no, we're not going to give in to you leakers and release this in April when everything has been spoiled. We're going to delay this. So I know a lot of Dragon Ball fans were mad about that, but that's what happens with leakers. Or look at Spider-Man No Way Home. Remember, the only reason why that trailer came out in late August was because it had been leaked. Like it was an unfinished version of the teaser trailer. And when that was leaked, everyone was watching that. Even I was watching that in shitty quality. Sony was like, no, we can't let people give this leaker views. We gotta release our teaser trailer to completely overshadow this. And that's what they did. They released it late August. I think it wasn't supposed to come out until like September. Cause I think it was supposed to come out closer to Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. So they released that trailer and it completely overshadowed the leaked trailer. No one cared about that anymore because that was unfinished and it was bootleg. So companies do that all the time. Either they're forced to push things earlier to beat the leaks or they delay it. They're just that pissed off and mad. They're like, no, you guys can wait. I'm not saying that's what happened with this. You know, IGN Summer Games Fest is pretty big deal, but... I'm saying it could be a possibility that originally Sega was planning on releasing a Sonic Frontiers event June 23rd, but because of the leaks, they're like, you know what, we're going to push this earlier for the Summer Games Fest. Who knows? I do know it was until recently that IGN announced the date for the Summer Games Fest. But anyway, I got some Sonic Frontiers leaks from 4chan, you know, the greatest number one source of Sonic news. So let's get into that for the Summer Games Fest. But before I do, be sure to smash that like button, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. You know, I should have said this earlier because now we're like halfway done with the video. But anyway, let's see if we can get to 100K subs before Sonic Frontiers comes out. All right, so this alleged leak was posted May 4th, just a couple days ago. And this person says, Sonic Frontiers and Summer Game Fest, Continue Continuation of last CG trailer, gameplay reveal. Sonic runs around the world showing off new trail, aura, and animation. Sonic shows off combat like Sonic Wind, Spin Dash, Spin Cycle, and Kick. Has a bit of snapback 
you can see different parts of each island like a city beach mountains and forest you know i'm going to stop right there i think that is what's going to happen because if you guys remember last year we got two trailers of sonic frontiers the first one was back in may with just a little sneak peek teaser and it wasn't called anything and then we data mined it and found out it was sonic rangers was the project name and then seven months later we got sonic frontiers trailer in the game awards and that was pretty much an extension of the first trailer so i wouldn't be surprised if sega is also going to post a third trailer which is going to be an extension of the second trailer you know because they've been feeding us breadcrumbs of sonic frontiers so i wouldn't be surprised if this is now a fully realized trailer of sonic frontiers and then maybe in the future they will give us more info on this now as it continues it says another cgi clip plays sonic parkouring on top of the titan from last time and sonic launches into the air then turns super trailer ends and displays a november 15 2022 release date another graphic pops up telling us that more information will be coming on the 24th all right, all right so let's first start with the first sentence it says another cgi clip shows sonic running up the titan this reminds me of the Sonic Forces trailer back then. Remember the first trailer when Sonic was trying to run up to those big Death Egg robot sentinels? And then Classic Sonic came out and helped him and they ran towards him. Then the second trailer which showed the Avatar actually showed them taking down the robot. So I have a feeling that's what's going to happen with this next trailer with Sonic Frontiers. is going to show him actually taking on the Titans. Because the second trailer ended on a cliffhanger with him looking at this huge Titan boss. So I think the next trailer we're going to see him actually taking on the Titan. And then it says that it's going to have a release date of November 15th. A lot of companies actually include November with winter releases. Which is really weird but that's just what they do you know it's like when movies when hollywood counts may as the summer release the summer release slot for movies is may to august right but we all know may is not a summer month may is spring summer starts in june and now as of recent april is now included in the summer season of movies and april is a pure spring month you know so i think that's what their companies are doing because they look at seasons fiscally they don't look at them seasonally so November fiscally is considered as part of the winter season of releases. They're not going to call it the fall or late fall. So I do believe that we're getting Sonic Frontiers in November, not December. Like when was the last time we ever had a Sonic game in December? And Sonic turning super, we have heard a lot of rumors about Sonic turning super multiple times in this game. And it also says another graphic pops up telling us that more information will be coming on the 24th. Now, this is very interesting because in my previous video, I talked about Sonic Frontiers event being on June 23rd, which is Sonic's birthday, the day Sonic Origins comes out. So if this is June 24th, this is very close to the 23rd. So if this leak is true, we're going to get another Frontiers information like around the 23rd, 24th. So if that's true, then that means that original leak that I talked about was true. That means we're going to get twice the amount of Sonic Frontiers information in June and more is better, you know? I'm not one to complain. So what do you guys think about all this news? Jump down in the comments below and let me know your thoughts. But yeah, uh, we're definitely going to get Sonic Frontiers information June 9th. And I think we're going to get it again near the end of June, like right after Origins comes out. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think this is going to be another CGI trailer? Do you think we're actually going to see gameplay in the IGN Summer Games Fest? Do you think we won't see gameplay until later in the month or in the future? But all right, guys, that's all I got for now. So take care. And until next time, I'm out.